Hi, welcome. This is Peter Grant of AllInclusiveCaribbeanCruises.net and the PeetsTravel.com. Uh, right now, I want to briefly talk to you about. Uh, I'll give you some short excursions, um, short excursion tips um, to remember as you plan your Carib Caribbean cruise, uh, our cruise to anywhere, for that matter. Um, many people choose when they cruise. Uh, when they to they plan ahead of time that when they get into a particular port of call, um, whether it be Ocho Rios, Jamaica, Grand Cayman, uh, Belize City, uh, or the, the 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 Bahamas, Freeport, Nassau, or one of the private islands, um, one of the cruise lines, private islands, uh, they they plan that they really want to do something other than just being on the ship or get get, get off the ship and exploring the pier or whatever. And that is good. It's good to get to know. You know, if you're going to a new place, it's 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 good to get to know, go interact with the natives and the locals, um, see how they live. Um, you know, talk to them. You'll see that they're people just like you, uh, and uh, you'll get to know how they live, how things are with them, and most importantly, you'll get to enjoy a little bit of their culture for the the few hours that you are there. But while you plan to do that, there's just a few things you need to um, keep in mind. Uh, your ship will have a shore excursion desk where you can book your shore excursion, whether, whether it be a tour of the island, whether it be going to a particular beach, or it be um, going to an aquarium, uh, the sea turtle um, farm in Grand Cayman, or, or it means swim, swimming with, with, with dolphins in Jamaica, or, or, or the Bahamas, or it means um, um, going on the water to t enjoy the tropical uh, m marine life. Um, you can do it in, in Nassau. Um, whatever it is, your, your cruise ship will have a shore excursion desk where you can book these things. And as a matter of fact, you can book them even before you set sail. You can go to the cruise line's um, uh, website or you can talk with your travel agent um, with whom you book your, your, your cruise. Um, you have booked your cruise to um, secure this shore excursion. Uh, but Something about shore excursions is that uh, they can be pricey. The fact is that there are three parties involved in each shore excursion. There is a ship, the cruise line, that has to get some money. Then there is the company that actually um, uh, fulfills that, um, that uh, shore excursion. And then there is normally someone who transfers you from the ship to the operator. Of the shore excursions, there are three parties. In most cases, that is, there are three parties, and therefore, that uh, the fact that there are three parties, your price is a little bit more, and um, then it, it it can be. Um. So here are some things to bear bear in mind. Um. When thinking about a shore excursion, one, you can do the research, check online, TripAdvisor, and other places. Just check online for um shore ex companies that offer the same shore excursions that your ship is offering. Um, in the port of call you plan to visit, okay? So check for other companies, reputable companies that are offering these um, shore excursions. The price will be less because you're paying the, the operator directly, not three parties. Um, the second thing is, while I encourage some uh, people, if, if you have an issue with... Um, with safety, if you feel that you are more secure, that which you are when you book through the ship, um, book, go ahead and book it on the ship. But if you um, are a little bit adventurous, um, you like to take some risks, uh, and when I say that, um, there are reputable companies that you will find at the pier, right? When you get to your, pier, your, your cruise port or your port of call, there's an information desk, and you can ask questions, Right? Then there are people, uniformed, established companies that do not have a contract with the ship, but they're there at the pier and they're waiting to take you somewhere, wherever it is you want to go, to have fun. Reputable companies. So the second thing is, you may wait until you get off your ship to book your shore excursion. Okay? Wait until you get off the ship, go to the pier, talk to the information um, personnel that's there, get information from them, then look around for people who appear to be reputable, especially if you see several of them wearing the same uniform, the, the buses having the same logo design, you can tell. Get 
other people with you. Never take any of these, uh, never go with these any of these guys just by yourself. But ensure that there are other people on your ship that are going um, on that particular tour or trip. And then go. You will find that it costs you less if you do that. Then thirdly, there are, there are instances where you can actually just take a taxi. Say you want to go to a beach. You want to go to the beach in Grand Cayman, the Seven Mile Beach. Or you want to go to um, the falls in Ocho Rios, Jamaica, Dunn's River Falls, and you should if you visit Jamaica. Um, then a, a taxi ride, or, or it is also um, a very popular uh, destination, is the Atlantis in, in Nassau. It's actually in Paradise Island. A lot of people get off the ship in Nassau, and they want to go there. That's all they want to do, because there's so much to do. Um, you will find that a simple taxi ride will get you to these places, right? Catch a taxi in Nassau. It, the last time we were there, uh, two, three years ago, it was $4 per person. Grand Cayman to the beach, $3 last time we were there. Three or four, depending on where you want to enter. There is a, a private entrance called the... Um, the Royal Palm is a club, but it's a very nice place to enter. And to get there, it's a very short, it's shorter, it's a shorter distance than if you were to enter at the public entrance. And so it was $3 by taxi to get there. If you were to go farther down the road to the public entrance, which was also nice, which is where we went, um, it was $4. Uh, we actually went to both, but then moved from Royal Palm to the public here because we, have a, we had a cousin there on the island and he suggested that we do that. So we stopped at the Royal Pub, and then we eat took us. Um, to that, then, sorry, then we joined him at uh, the public entrance. But So there are places we can get to by a taxi, several beaches in the Caribbean. We can get to get off the ship, catch a taxi. It's less money. Duns River Falls will cost a little bit more. It may be about, because what they normally do is charge you the taxi ride, the, the round fare, and it's not a taxi, but it's like a bus. It's a, it's a, it's a coach bus, um, very um, comfortable and so on. And what they will do, include the admissions fee to the falls, along with the taxi fare, or the, the, the bus fare. And so the last time we were there was, um, that was three years ago, it was $20 per person on the bus. Very reasonable. If you were to pay on the ship for something like that, it would be more than that. So consider those things. Finally, I want you to talk with people. Go online cruisecritic.com, TripAdvisor, talk, and talk to friends and relatives. You know, there are people who are cruising out there, and some may be your relatives and your, your neighbors. You can ask them, what did you do on your cruise? And get some ideas. And you will save some money if you bear these things in mind. Um, remember, one, see if there are other companies offering the same excursions. Two, wait until they get off the ship. You may wait. You don't have to. You can book and board if you want to. Um, but you may wait. Three, consider ta consider taking a taxi to some places. Very, sh it's a very short ride. It's a lot less money than booking a tour on the ship via the ship. And finally, talk with people who've cruised before. If you don't know anybody, go online, cruise critic, trip advisor, search these places, see what people are saying about um, these ports of calls and uh, ports of calls, uh, ports of calls. Sorry, and what's offered there. Okay, so. Good luck. Go save some money on those short excursions and have fun. This is Peter uh, from allinclusivecaribbeancruises.net and peachtravel.com saying, see you on the high seas. Bye.